Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Desktop Pro displays the home window when you open a company file. The home window contains the home page and insights tabs in the upper left corner of the page. You can switch between them by clicking the tabs. This shows the different content on each tab within the home window. The home window appears by default whenever you open a new company file. You can close it by clicking the small X in its upper right corner. You can redisplay the home window by clicking the home button within the icon bar or by selecting company home page from the menu bar. To see the content of the home page, click the home page tab in the upper left corner of the home window. The home page provides a starting point from which you can access many of the features of the program. It also shows an overview of the relationships between the many windows in the QuickBooks Desktop Pro software. The home page has icons that show the order in which people often perform activities when using QuickBooks. Each activity appears as an icon in a diagram of related activities underneath a general heading like customers or vendors at the top of each section. Seeing this flow of activities is a great way for new users to learn how QuickBooks is often used in business. For example, if you open the sample product-based business company file included with any version of QuickBooks Desktop Pro and examine its homepage, you can see the different ways that the sample company can collect money from its customers in the Customers section of the homepage. Studying the relationships between the icons helps new users learn how to use the program by showing the correct order in which to perform the related tasks. The icons shown in the home page change based on which QuickBooks features are enabled or disabled in the currently opened company file. These features are often set when the company file is created using either the Express Start or Easy Step interview in QuickBooks. For example, if you indicated that your company doesn't use estimates when creating your company file, then you will not have the estimates icon within your company file's home page after creating the company file. However, you can also manually enable or disable features of QuickBooks after creating a company file. This can also change the icons shown in the home page. In the home page, you can click the icons to open the related task window. For example, clicking the Create Invoices icon opens the Create Invoices window. This gives you quick access to the task windows in QuickBooks. The Insights tab contains graphs that show you how the company is performing. To see the content of the Insights tab, click the Insights tab in the upper left corner of the home window. At the top of this window, your company logo name and the date appear at the left side. There are also three buttons you can use to manage the information in this tab at the right side. Below that is a large bar or column graph with two smaller graphs underneath it that show income and expenses. To add your company logo to this tab, click the upload logo area in the upper left corner to launch an open dialog box. Use it to navigate to and then select the logo image to use. Then click the Open button in the Open dialog box to add the logo to the tab. To print the content in this tab, click the Print button in the upper right corner to open a separate Print Preview window. Preview the content and then click the Print button in the upper left corner of the Print Preview window to open a Print dialog box. Choose your printer and set printing settings in the Print dialog box. Then click the Print button in the Print dialog box to print the graphs. To close the Print Preview window, click the X in its upper right corner. To refresh the data in the Insights tab, click the Refresh button in the upper right corner to ensure it displays the most up-to-date information. To select which graphs appear in the upper portion of the tab, click the Customize button in the upper right corner and then click the graphs you want to see to mark them with a check mark. You must select at least one graph in the drop-down menu to display. Then click the OK button in the drop-down menu to apply your changes. You can also click the Cancel button in the drop-down menu instead to cancel any changes you made. The selected graphs appear in the large column and bar chart section of the Insights tab. If you selected more than one graph from the drop-down menu, you can click the arrows at the left and right sides of the graph that is shown to cycle between the graphs. Alternatively, you can click the small dots shown at the bottom of the graph to cycle between the graphs. Many of the graphs contain drop-down menus that let you change the date range of the data shown in the graph. The graphs at the bottom of this tab simply show income and expenses. 
For the large bar or column graph, as well as the expenses graph, you can click any data shown in the graph to open a quick report in a separate window that lists the transaction amounts for the specific section of the graph you clicked. For example, clicking the payroll expenses section of the circle shown in the expenses graph opens a quick report on the transactions attributed to the payroll expenses account in a separate window. You can click the small X button in the upper right corner of the quick report window to close it. Clicking any section shown in the income graph opens the income tracker in a separate window and shows any transactions for the specific section you clicked. You can close the income tracker window by clicking the X button in its upper right corner. You can click the drop down in the expenses graph to change the time period of the expenses shown. You can also click the Create Bill link in the upper right corner of the Expenses graph to create a new bill in the Enter Bills window, or click the Create Invoice link in the upper right corner of the Income graph to create a new invoice in the Create Invoices window. You can close either window, if opened, by clicking the X in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.